Hi there, welcome to LearnClickQ.com. In this tutorial, we will go over book, dynamic bookmarks. But before that, let's define bookmarks in ClickView. Bookmarks allow you to save a predetermined set of selections. Uh, bookmarks are essential for those of you who want to perform same analysis on a regular basis. Uh, it, it not only allows you to store um, set of selections but also um, provides a, a very efficient uh, way to retrieve uh, data set that you normally analyze on a regular basis. So um, enter uh, dynamic bookmarks. Um, dynamic bookmarks allow you not only to store set of predetermined selections but also provides a semantic layer um, for others um, or your users who can choose from set of bookmarks without having doubt or confusion as to what that bookmark um, is, is all about. So let's go over a real world example to illustrate what I mean. Um, Going back to the same example that we've been um, using for the last couple of tutorials, um, I have this expense tracking sheet here out of budget, and uh, in that I have recurring spend and non recurring spend. Now, um, what if I want to categorize this further um, and, and put this? expense categories into one of the three buckets. Those three buckets are going to be either discretionary spend or essential spend um, or I call it good habits like savings or teething. So let's first create those three buckets and then we're going to create dynamic bookmark to um, show you how you can uh, first save bookmarks and then uh, using uh, a, a list uh, or, or, or drop down list or, or a uh, regular list you can retrieve those saved bookmarks. So let's get started here. Um, again going back to the same spreadsheet that we've been using in last two tutorials. Uh, I have a spreadsheet with two columns, one showing category and the other one spent per month. And, and what we'll do is we'll go over each category and bucketize um, the, the, the spend into uh, one of the three buckets. So uh, before we do that, let's just at high level create those three buckets. And it's going to be... Um, an inline table because we want to show this as as a list box. So let's go back to the uh, the script editor, and I'm going to add a tab called inline table here. And the easiest way to create inline is. Um, I would say go into uh, the uh, load statement in load inline, and we're going to create two columns in this. One is going to be the bookmark name, and the second one is going to be bookmark ID. Okay. So, as we've discussed, we're going to have three buckets here. First is discretionary. If I can spell it right. And let's for now, um, we'll get the actual bookmark IDs for for now, I'm going to say BM01. The next one is Essential. 
So these are the, the three high level buckets we're going to create BM02. And third one's good habits. And I call it BM03. Okay, good up. So here's our inline table with three. Uh, buckets um, for, for the dynamic bookmark display purpose. So uh, let's save this and go back. Now we're going to create three bookmarks and each bookmark will relate to one of these um, buckets that we created. So um, let's first clear the screen and um, First one is discretionary, so we're going to we're going to select uh, categories that we think fall into discretionary bucket, and that is car. Uh, well, that's not that. I would say dining out, gifts, uh, um, miscellaneous, and phone bill. Somewhat you can control that. So. These are the four categories um, that we'll save into that, that bucket. So we're going to add a bookmark and we call it discretionary. Okay. Now, good enough, clear. Now, the second is going to be essential. So we're going to say car guess. You know, if you're working, you need that car maintenance. Um, college, if you want to get a degree. Um, groceries. I'd say haircut. Medical insurance. Medical medicine. Rent. So those are going to be the essential so I'm gonna add a bookmark here call it essential so parts are good so we have two now we're going to create the third one and that's good habits and that's very easy so there are only two here one is saving teething oh and actually donations so so this three fall into to the good habits bucket. So let's save this. Bookmark, add a bookmark. So so now we have three bookmarks as you see here. And what we'll do is we'll associate um, each uh, one bucket to each of this. Now. Um, before we go there, let's create the, the list box first. But but bef before we do that, we need to find the bookmark IDs. Oh, and it's good that they are BM01, BM02, BM03. So let's make sure, go back to the, the script. And as you see here, you have discretionary BM01, essential BM02. BM03. So good enough. So what we're going to do is we're going to reload and good. So now we're going to create a a list box and you want to get bookmark name. And what we'll do is to make it look nice, we're going to go into property, turn off the caption, presentation, uh, turn off single column, apply, and now we're going to drag it. So that we have nice, um, yeah. So, so there you go. You see three buckets here. Um, now, the, the last trick is to associate each uh, list item um, 
width with the specific or the respective bookmark because when user clicks on either discretionary essential or good habits it should display corresponding bookmark and that's the last step so what we'll do is we'll go into settings document properties and we're going to use the the triggers um, and it's going to be on any select and the bookmark name which is the, the, we're going to use that column for the event trigger and add action so the first action always is going to be to clear any selection so let's add and go down to say clear all so that's the first one and second one is going to be bookmarks and apply bookmark that's the trick so say apply bookmark and then we're going to use um, if statement to select um, the proper bookmark for each selection so say if bookmark name equal discretionary then bm01 so that's the bookmark ID so if user user selects discretionary it should display bookmarks 01 good enough then if bookmark name equal essential in BM02 and last one is the default if user selects the none of none of the um, the other two then it should be BM03 so we don't need to put if statement we'll just say BM03 here and that's it so we have bookmark name and associated bookmark ID so here apply and good and all we do at this point is reload it so when I click on discretionary you see that one essential you see that one and good habits there you have it so now you have dynamic bookmark in action so as you as you as your user selects a particular bookmark uh, label it's it's bringing a set of predetermined selections that you saved under respective bookmark that's it for now I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.